Oh, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Sometime Vlog. It's a vlog that happens sometimes. I'm back here in the Fullerton Arboretum, very close to Titan Field, where they're practicing some baseball, doing some crazy sports things. So if you hear some yelling, or trains, <laughs> it's not from the Arboretum itself. It's from external sources. I'm a little hoarse today. And I'm not running around and jumping around as per usual. I'm pretty sick. I don't know if I have the flu. It's definitely not the stomach flu or just a really bad head cold, but I'm a little bit sick. So why am I outside? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I had to run some errands and go pick up some Gatorade. And as my errands took me past this beautiful secret little bamboo forest area of the Arboretum, not really this area specifically, but just past the Arboretum in general, I thought I would stop and take a look at the beauty of nature, even though you know, being basically a giant garden, all this nature was put here by man. Look at some of this stuff. It is gorgeous here. What I really like about Fullerton Arboretum is there's all these little sneaky spots to come and relax. There's all kinds of joggers and uh, students painting over there and people taking romantic walks and elderly couples gazing off into bamboo goodness. But by and large, there's a lot of little sneaky in enclaves where you can be by yourself and participate in the glory of being outside and being wonderful. I am totally rambling a little bit incoherent, but that's because I spent all day in bed with this massive headache watching the Twilight Zone. So I'm feeling a little eerie. Ooh. You may notice that yesterday's vlog is down. Yesterday's vlog is down due to some reasons which I cannot discuss, nothing bad. But yesterday, we got an opportunity to visit the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, which was amazing. Visited with some chums. Thank you, Dennis, for giving us a wonderful tour of the studio. It was pretty amazing to walk, literally, where Walt walked up and down the hallways of his work to see the windows of Walt Disney's office and to see the studio, the dream studio that he built just the way he wanted it. It's changed a lot over the years, and of course Disney's a massive corporation, so they have all kinds of wheels turning and all kinds of secret things going on there. So as a precaution, the vlog is down, just in case, hopefully it will become, it'll be back up shortly. In the meantime, on Facebook, we did get to post a few pictures from the outside. You gotta be careful what you film at a movie studio, because of course they're working on all kinds of current projects. They don't want any spoilers out there. We have so much respect for that company and that place. It's pretty amazing to see all the talent, especially in the animation, over in the animation building, seeing all that talent. There's more talent in one cubicle there than I possess in my entire body or lifetime. So it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing place. Anyway, this is sort of a week of setbacks other than that, where there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. There's a bunch of footage I got up north on my last trip, but it appears I'm going to have to return to get additional footage so there's some hiccups with the editing. Um, of course, being sick and stuff like that. But you know what? Overall, I'm feeling very blessed, happy to be alive, even if I am sick. I don't think I'm dying, hopefully. <laughs> happy to have some good friends, spend a lot of quality time with good friends yesterday. And just wandering around this beautiful Arboretum. And I thought I would stop by and say hello to my favorite people out there in TV land. Anyway, yeah, just wandering the Arboretum. Yeah, speaking of painters doing some paintings, I've been working on some paintings of my own. As many of you, so you gotta watch out because there's little bamboo stumps everywhere. Oh, look at this. A lonely, lost yogurt land spoon. Well, we, somebody littered. We should, I should put it in my back pocket. I'll throw it away when I find a trash can. Anyway, yes. So I had a couple of my paintings up on eBay. Thank you everyone who bid on those. All that money, not that I'm a fine artist or anything. All that money will go back into the gas tank Apparently, to fix some mistakes I made last time on the last trip of filming, there will be more filming coming up. So it just sort of got slowed down, bogged down. Setbacks happen, but you can only do two things. You can either sit there and go, oh no, a setback, I give up. Or you can go, oh, a setback, well, whatever. Things slow down a little, but that doesn't mean we can't pick them back up and get even crazier. But first, I think I gotta take care of the old body, maybe, uh, forego my usual diet of Mountain Dew and Doritos and 
eat some more healthy food, pound the vitamins, pound the Gatorade, and get back to full health. The problem with being sick isn't so much being sick. It's really easy to figure out what to do. You take a little medicine, you do this, you do that. Hydrate, eat some good food. The problem when you're sick is just the sheer boredom of having to rest, especially if you're me. I'm very restless. I got itchy feet. I'm always wandering around doing something, going to theme parks, going to movie studios, and doing all kinds of crazy, weird, wacky adventures. I'm one of those people where it's very hard to get me to sit still. Even when I, so recently I went up, visited a friend of mine, went to this football game, and even then I couldn't sit still in the bleach. I had to walk around and look around. I'm just one of those restless people. So to sit still and rest when you're sick, very difficult for me. That's why I thought, well, if I'm gonna do these errands anyways, I'll walk through the Arboretum, and then at least maybe I can trick myself into thinking, I did something today and the restlessness won't be so bad. So if you guys have any tips on how to stave off boredom when you're stuck in one room, let me know. I am open to suggestions. I am also open to good Netflix suggestions right now. I just watched Tombstone. I completed the entire series of The Twilight Zone and I am looking for good Netflix suggestions. I'm also painting in there as I lay there dying. Well, not really dying. As I lay there feeling sorry for myself as sick people do. No, I'm not doing that either. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm talking about. My head is full of sinus pressure. The world is still a wonderful place. So I thought I'd come outside and get a look at this shady area. One of my favorite spots in any kind of like arboretum or Huntington Gardens or anything like that. It's always a bamboo forest. It's very cool. I hope someday to go to a legitimate Asian bamboo forest and wander around. Although, I hope I don't get trampled by elephants because I hear that could be a problem. That's just a little bit of sarcasm there. Or maybe see a panda bear. That would be pretty cool. I'm not afraid of regular bears in the United States, like uh, brown bears, or black bears, rather. I don't know if I would be afraid of a panda bear or not. It seems like a panda bear, as cute as they are, could probably, much like a Wookiee, rip your arms off if they lost at a game of chess. What do you think? What do you think? I bet a panda bear bent this stick of bamboo. Now I'm going to crawl over. See, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Very sick. Thank you for watching the Sometimes Vlog. Check out LiveFastSideBoard.com, all kinds of good stuff there. The LiveFastSideBoard Facebook. There's a few pictures from the Walt Disney Studios yesterday. A few pre-approved. Just some pictures of going there. It's very, very cool. Walking Walt's footsteps. I'm feeling very grateful, very blessed. Even though I'm feeling a little under the weather today. More video adventures are coming. A few setbacks. More road trips are coming. More incredible, wonderful things are coming. But October, month of setbacks so far. But hey, we're going to rally, get through it, the positive attitude, and hopefully, on the flip side of it, a lot more wonderful content and all kinds of adventures. So thank you for joining me on the Sometimes Vlogs and also during Random Land and for checking out those paintings on eBay. More on the way. I love you all. Thanks for all your support and kind words. And definitely give me some Netflix suggestions because I've got to return to my room after this and sit there and allow my body to heal itself like Wolverine in the X-Men. I don't think it'll be as rapid, as fast, or as easy, but I'm hoping that it'll be something like that. Again, I apologize for the crudity of this walk. I didn't have time to build the scale or to paint it. And I'm very, very sick, so I make no sense today. We will resume more shenanigans tomorrow, hopefully. Tomorrow, hopefully. Because I feel like, as sick as I am, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. But as sick as I am, I feel like I'm, I'll be better tomorrow. I think it's a, one of those 24 hour things. I'm gonna think positive. It's gonna be one of those 24 hour things. Okay, goodbye on the Fullerton Arboretum. I'll see you guys later. See ya.